Hey guys, Cheezette Cowan here, CEO of Real Estate. Excited to talk to you about creating a value-based business, or as I like to say, a business that aligns with your personal values. Um, I hear this a lot from coaches, other CEOs, etc., that um, you can't create a personality-based business. Um, and as I start to go down the trail of my own personal growth, learning, and self-development, I kind of challenge that a little bit. And here's why. I believe that if you're doing business in a way that doesn't align with your personality, at least initially, um, that it's going to be hard. Real estate is already hard enough. I can't do real estate in a way that doesn't align with who I already am. I have to start with that. Here's the thing. And then I have to pull my personality out of it little by little if that's what I decide to do. But just because I start with my personality in mind doesn't mean that my business is not scalable and that it won't win. Let me give you an example. Elon Musk. Tesla is just the personality of Elon Musk. That is his brainchild, right? Apple, Steve Jobs. That is the personality-based business of Steve Jobs. Jeff Bezos. Amazon is the personality-based business of Jeff Bezos, but guess what they did? They started putting systems in it to pull themselves out of it, but the whole structure is based on their personality. Here's why. What I found is that when I do business in a way that doesn't align with who I really am, it's hard. I mean, like harder than normal. Let me give you an example. I love conversing with people. I could never do a form of lead generation that don't require me to talk to people. I like talking to people too much. But here's what I love about talking to people for lead gen. I get to call people. Hey, how you doing, girl? You doing good? You want to go to lunch? I get to hang out with people. I get to eat at nice restaurants. I get to buy people gift cards and make them feel good. My cup is being filled even when I'm working. How freaking cool is that? But I'm not going to do something like door knocking that doesn't allow me to really build a relationship. There's nothing wrong with door knocking. It just doesn't fit my personality. So my forms of legion, and I've said this before, are social media, uh, cold calling, and sphere of influence and agent referrals. Now, the cold calling are great because I know that that's not it doesn't start out as relationship driven. But my goal is to bring it into myself and make it my own. And everybody that I cold call, my question is, how can I build a relationship with this person? I have about five bona fide friends right now. Like they're not clients. They bona fide friends that started with cold calls and like we're friends, friends. And that's because when I looked at what I'm doing, I said, I get to be in relationship with any with people. It's not a cold call. But here's the thing. I don't think that you have to cold call to run a real estate business, but I think you don't need to know how to call because at some point, even if somebody gives you a lead, you got to do a warm follow up or something. So you have to know how to get on the phone. But here's here's what I want to talk about. God is going to allow your business to stand out when your business is a reflection of you. And here's the thing. Over time, you want to start to create systems around that, but those systems are going to be reflective of your personality. And then now you start to pull yourself out of the day-to-day -day activity and you'll watch it morph into a conglomerate or a combination of your personalities and the people that you are hiring to now move it to the next level. Let me give you an example. I am totally fine talking to people on and off camera. I was in sales and marketing before, so I've always done presentations. So me doing this, talking to a camera screen is nothing. But here's the thing. Now I have a marketing director and she's telling me you got to hit these four points. You got to make sure you got a call to action. You got to do, 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 check all the boxes. Now I'm like, okay, I can do that. And now how do I do that? I figured out how to make it my own, but I'm still doing because here's the thing. It is great to have a focus point for a video. It is great to give people one, two, and three, four steps. It is great to have a call to action. So what she's saying is not wrong. It's how do I do that for myself? I think a lot of agents struggle because they're trying to do things other people's ways. I'm not trying. If you tell me to lead generate, I'm going to lead generate how I lead generate. You just tell me how many people I need to talk to every day and I'll figure out how to make that happen. But I know that everybody is not like that, but I'm saying that that's an indication of my personality coming out of my business. This is why I love talking to people. I can go to a school and do a presentation. So now I'm adding events and seminars to my um, lead generation strategies. Duh, I like talking to people. It goes right up in line with that. When I started doing agent referrals, the reason why I started doing agent referrals, 
I actually really met some awesome agents and I enjoyed talking with them about business, learning about what they're doing, sharing with them about what I'm doing. And I said, why not make this a lead generation strategy? Because here's the thing, agent referrals is part of um, a lead generation plan. Why not start taking this to the next level? So even today, I talked to Monique Slater out of Texas. I talked to Brandon Thompson and Janae Thomas out of Orlando. And when I talk to them, I've gotten referrals from all of them. I've given referrals to all of them except Monique. But when I talk to them, it didn't feel like work. I'm like, hey, how you doing? Brandon's like, oh, we having a KWYP launch in Orlando. Can you come speak? Absolutely, I can come speak. And now we're having a conversation. It's business, but it doesn't feel like business. A lot of times when business is really feeling hard, it's because you're probably working your business in a way of somebody else's value system and not your own. Right. You want to make sure that your business energizes you, not drains you. And what drains you most of the time, 90 percent of the time is trying to be like somebody else. I don't. One of the things I love about real estate is it gives you the space to show up and be yourself. I don't work for anybody. You don't work for anybody. You broker your deals through a brokerage, but you are an independent contractor. So you don't have to fit into anybody else's box. One of the things I was so excited about leaving corporate America is I'm like, I get to really see what's in me. I get to create something based on the picture and the stories that I have in my own heart. And I get to live that out. And I get to watch other people do that. So when I look at Elon Musk, I admire him. And not that, I think he's a little quirky sometimes, but here's what I admire about him. He is who he is. And he knows that his mindset, his mind and the way he thinks is awesome. That's why he's able to create the things that he create. He don't care about what anybody thinks about him. Does he have growth? Probably yes, we all do. But what he is doing is marvelous. He's changing the game because he is being himself. What in your real estate business is you trying to be like somebody else? What kind of strategies are you creating in your business that you want to, because you heard ABC got a strategy like that, you want to go implement ABC. How about you use that as a guide and create something that tailors your personality? Let me give you an example. I have a lot of introverts on my PC team in Tampa. I don't, God in his infinite wisdom, Earl, he always placed me around introverts. I do not understand this. I am so, I am probably... I'm becoming an introverted extrovert, but I'm so extroverted that I literally crave people. Like I ha I cannot go like three, three days without a person. I lose my mind. Like, and, and I have to have sunlight. I have to see people smile. Those things just fill my cup. You don't even have to be talking to me. I just got to see you. Right. But here's the thing. Why is that? I love people. That's why I love real estate. I love people. I get to meet people every freaking day. When I was at Blue Cross Blue Shield and I would travel the country doing these open enrollment meetings, I loved it. And people would be like, you like just sitting up front talking about insurance? And no, I mean, it's okay. I like the hundred people that I met here. Like these are some pretty cool people. I get so excited with people that it, one of the, this girl, she did something and she won something. I was so excited. She was like, girl, did you win or did I win? I was like, girl, I, I don't know. I forgot. Like, it's just us. Like, I'm just so excited for you. And I say that because I'm around a lot of introverts. So when I'm teaching Legion to introverts, I'm not telling them at all. Don't be extroverted because baby, if that ain't your jam, it's going to be a tough ride because I can't do the, ex the introverted thing because that ain't my jam. So we had a friend of mine, she's a coach for introverted salespeople. And she came in and gave them some strategies about how to win in sales as an introvert. And here's what I'm, the, the reason why I really bought this up and her name is D is because this girl has created a coaching lane for salespeople that are introverts. How niched is that? That girl is doing exactly what she loves with the population that she loves. And she's created a personality based business that gives her energy and she's thriving because it mirrors her personal values. What are your values? My values are God, family, and business. That's why I don't work at after five and I don't work on the weekends. And I don't mind putting that on tape. I have to have time with God. I have to have time with my family. I understand that I have to work. I do that all day from eight to five. There's no reason why I need to be doing that after five o'clock. Eight hours a day is enough to grow your business if you are strategizing on how to move it to the next level every single day. Eight hours is enough. You may have some days, yes, you might work eight, you might have 10, but guess what? I'm eight years in the game. Those days are far and few between because now I have leverage. Now I have systems. Now I look at things differently. Things that I thought were important five years ago, they're not important now. That can wait till tomorrow. 
or get somebody else to do it. I'm okay with that. But it took me time to develop there. But I'm telling you this because I would say um, for a year, maybe in my second or third year of my career, because I was around a lot of successful people, I started morphing into their idea of success, working my brain off. And then I'm like, I don't like this anymore. And God was like, of course you don't like it because you're not doing it the right way. <laughs> right. What is in your heart? And like I said, real estate is hard already. It's already hard to start trying to do it the way somebody else is doing it is the worst. Identify your values up front. What do you value? What are your three highest value? Is it family? Is it free time? I want you to write them down. Whatever they are, make sure that your business is created in a way that aligns with it. So I heard you heard me say mine are God, family, and business. How I got into systems? Because I wanted to figure out how to be home at five o'clock, but I still wanted to be productive. How did I drive that? I was like, I got to create systems so I can be more efficient at work and focus just on things that make me money. My values drove me into productivity. Your values will drive you into productivity. Here's the thing. We talk a lot about this kind of stuff in my CEO mastermind. Um, and we talk about a lot of this stuff in our membership. If you are thinking about business on another level, you need to be part of our community. Like our community is really helping agents look at their business different, do business different, strategize and get to the win a lot faster than traditionally because we are teaching you how to look within, not outside. We are not teaching you to look for other people to the answer for the answers. We are teaching you that all everything you need, like the Bible says, that pertains to life and godliness is on the inside of you. What we need to do is get you to pay more attention to you. You're going to get strategies and systems and tools. Yes, but all of those things are going to be designed to pull what's in you out of you. So if you are not part of this community, I'm telling you, you are missing out, missing out, missing out. Click that link, join the community, have the conversation, start really getting serious about taking your business to the next level. It's time. Like everybody is like, I want to wait till this. I'm going to wait till that. No, it's time to do it today because at the end of the day, if you want to grow your business, the, the, the three, four, five, six months that you're taking to think about whether you want to make the jump, that's time that you could be literally catapulting into productivity and taking everything to the next level. It's wasted time. It's time where you're working harder, not smarter. So identify your values, then create a system to get some growth into your life. Growth is the number one thing that people need. The reason why you don't have what you want is because you haven't grown to that level yet. Coaching, mentorship, training, masterminds, all of those things help you grow up so that you can get the, to the things that you want to accomplish in life. So I'd love to connect with you. Click the description in the box. I'm Cheesette Callen, the CEO of Real Estate. Bye-bye.